Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? This your boy, Drew King, the boss. And I'm, as you can see, I got my Shaq Creator Grand Badge. And let's see if I can drop some tips on you that'll help you get yours if you haven't already. All right, so now let's talk about, uh, for my career stats. Now, I played uh, 57 games. Um, I've, in those 57 games, I've taken 1,945 shots. Um, out of that 1,945, I've made 1,129 of them. So 1,129. Now, when it comes down to it, out of those, out of the number of shots that I've taken and everything like that, I guarantee you that I at least took um, 900 to 1,000 uh, spin jumpers, okay? Um, because, you know, first of all, you need to take at least, uh, you need to be making at least 150 of them in order to, in order to get your, your difficult shots. So the way I look at it is, is that once I had got my difficult shots to Hall of Fame, it was only a matter of time. But another thing is that you gotta be doing it consistently in games. So you gotta do this in consecutive games and everything like that, have that ability to create your shot and everything. And like, as you can see, it's only the first quarter with five minutes left. I'm playing on 12 minute quarters and I have the, I've unlocked that badge and everything like that. So like I'm getting hot quick. Um, I'm coming in and I'm doing these spin jumpers. I was just massing a whole bunch of steals, coming down, waiting for people to kind of come down or just coming around, coming down and hit my turnaround jumper and everything like that. Um, so like I said, 57 games, 1,945 shots. I've taken 1,129 I've made. And at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, you just want to make sure that you're pulling those difficult shots. That's the best badge to help you get that because so many shots are considered difficult shots, but if you're out there and you're doing the uh, the spin jumper left and right, you keep doing that spin jumper, spin jumper, spin jumper. I didn't make all of them and everything like that, but you know every one that I made counts towards it. Um, I think another thing, I think another good thing that does help, that does benefit you is the uh, is taking good shots. You know, so like when you see that when you see that joint pop up at the bottom right saying take good high percentage shots and everything like that i think that helps uh anytime it tells you that you good shot selection i really do believe that that helps now the best the best chance to get good shot selection will be if you get as i won't i won't say in the paint but get close enough to the rim and everything like that to a point where you can still do your spin jumper and everything like that because them close them 12 footers and everything like that like 12 to 15 12 to 15 is like a sweet spot and that's almost always gonna net you a good shot selection when you're doing that spin jumper, because that spin jumper is considered a difficult shot. It's also a shot that creates space because you know, you're turning away from your man and uh, coming off the other side. Um, another thing is, is that I wanna talk about is the hot spots. Now, if you're playing on rookie, you're gonna get your hot spots uh, very quickly, very easily. But I noticed one thing was I had two of my, two of my hot spots, they weren't hot. You know, anything in the mid range, two of my hot spots were not hot spots and everything like that. Like they were they were like mild and everything like that. Both both of them were um both of them were below um I think thirty two percent, but now I've gotten them both above above uh forty five percent. So now all of my hot spots are uh, the lowest I have is a forty eight percent uh hot spot and everything like that. So work on work I say work on your hot spots because you know, they're not giving us any information on to what is the confirmed information on what you need to do to get this grand badge. So, what I will say is is that you want to make sure everything that's considered mid-range is con is your hot spot. Every one of them. I love to shoot from the corner when it come down to it, but I made sure every one of my shots um, every one of my mid-range spaces was a hot spot. Every last one of them lights up when I'm on that floor. So you go for things like that. So like I said, let's let's recap. Go for difficult shots. Spin jump is your best friend because it creates space and it almost always activates difficult shot. Um, another thing is play on rookie. You should be able to get it done in, in less than 50 games. I played a few games on Hall of Fame and a few on Pro and everything like that. So I wasn't making as many shots. But once I started shooting at above you know 70 percent in uh consecutive games and everything like that i think that's what was helping me and everything whoop de woo so go for your spin jumper go for uh uh your tireless score a little bit too and at the same time just make sure that you keep firing within that 15 foot range and try to activate all your spots if anything i told you help you get that shot creator grand badge 
hit that like button let me know down in the comments below i got more 2k content i'm working on so until next time fellow gamers peace